Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 32 continued. This will be Lesson 32C, an app for mom. And Lessons uh, 32A and B, we created a, a notification uh, pop-up, uh, this little baby. That would pop up anytime you got a, a voice message, a Google Voice message. Um, it would pop up and it would show the message. And it also has buttons to open the open Google Voice or dismiss uh, the notification. So we're going to make some changes. Um, uh, we're going to make some additions. We're going to get more advanced. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make this smaller. This is pretty darn big, um, which is fine when there's one. But now we're going to have two different notifications. And we want them to be able to be on the screen at the same time. So in order to do that, we're going to have to make some modifications. So let's make this a little bit smaller. And it's not that big of a deal. We will just have to rearrange some things. So let's uh, go with resize. Let's resize the icon a little bit there. Make it smaller. Um, voice, you can make it smaller. Uh, we can uh, probably, yeah, there we go. Make the message box. Move it around. We're going to change these. Uh, yeah, let's make these definitely smaller. I put them about there. So that, uh, that works pretty well. Again, uh, on your own if you want to, you can get more complex with uh, these uh, to get your desired look. But one thing that's going to bug me to no end is the border on these. So I'm going to change that. Switch to normal mode, tap it, go to background, uh, border width, take that down to about five like that background border width five all right so you get a good idea of what it looks like um it's pretty good so what we're going to do now is uh we're going to go back uh to our scenes and this is a nifty little trick we i want to create a second notification for a different messaging app but I want it to look the same. So uh, basically the same and the functionality is the same. It's just going to have a little bit different uh, variables. So a good way to do that is to long press, click clone, give it a new name. And this is going to be for Facebook Messenger. So I'm going to say FB notify. And there we go. Now I have another one. Everything's exactly the same. So now we're just going to change this and I could have left message on there, but that would have been too smart. Facebook and then message. And then if you tap this, we want to destroy this scene. So we're going to Take that out and choose this scene, FB Notify. Great, Facebook message. We're going to go over here to this icon. We're going to tap the icon to change it, application icon. Now we're not going to choose Facebook because this isn't really for Facebook, this is for Messenger, Facebook Messenger. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to select tap and we want it to destroy a different scene. So I'm going to get rid of that and then choose Facebook notify. 
So now we got that icon. We're going to tap that. We're going to change this instead of TGV in title. We're going to make it T, you probably guessed it, FB in title. So that's a new variable that we're creating. Uh, small t, capital FB in title. Remember, having at least one capital letter is important because it makes it a global variable. We'll leave the rest of it the same. Uh, oh well, we do want to change the tap action. So tap, we want it to destroy a scene, but we want it to destroy this scene. So that's going to be the magnifying glass 101 FB notify. But we don't want it to open Google Voice. Uh, we want it to open a different app. So let's go in here and choose Messenger. There we go. So it'll open uh, Facebook Messenger app. And do the same thing with this. Open reply. On a tap, we want it to destroy the scene. So we basically clone the scene and then we're just changing the information to match the new scene. And what we want the new scene to do. Launch app, change that to Messenger. And then just the dismiss button. Tap, destroy scene. And magnifying glass slash search button 10FB notify. And that should be that. And it should pretty much mirror the same uh, thing as the uh, Google Voice message because we cloned everything. So it looks uh, uh, pretty much the same. So now that we've got that created, we just need to trigger that scene whenever we get a Facebook Messenger message. So we're going to go to Profiles, going to go to Plus, we're going to go to Event, UI, Notification, Owner Application, because we want this to happen only when we get a notification through Facebook Messenger. Messenger does let you know that you have to have uh, accessibility active. We're not going to worry about that because we're going to use the app to trigger this. Uh, and then what do you want? What task do you want? We're going to have a new task. We're going to go 101 FB uh, notify and what we're going to do is we're going to set a variable like we did before so variables variable set we're going to set the variable that we put in the scene which is small t for tutorial fb for facebook and then in title FB in title. What are we going to set that to? We're going to set that to a built-in tasker variable, which is the in title variable that gets filled anytime you get a notification. Notification title. There we go. So uh, we're setting our our user uh, created variable TFB in title to the in title that uh, is triggered as soon as you get a Facebook message, uh, mes uh, message. and then uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to show the scene. Scene. Show scene. Click the little search button, 101 FB notify. Uh, we're going to display it as a dialog. Now we're going to change the position on the first one because what we want is we want it, I still want it to be at the top of the screen, but I want it to be over to the right. We're going to make it top right. Go back. There's a couple things I want to do with this. Uh, one of those things is that I want to uh, add a second context. Add. Application. Choose Facebook Messenger. And then click Invert. Which means this will only trigger if we're not currently in the messenger app obviously if you're in the messenger app you don't need a notification 
Second thing we need to do is give this a name. So we're going to press it and click name 101. And then I'll say face. I uh, did not take the way I wanted it to. One, oh, one. I wasn't done yet. Face. And then mess. Which stands for Facebook Messenger. Or message. So there we got that. And uh, now that we got that uh, set up, we need to go back into our Google uh, Voice profile with our Google Voice notification. And on Show Scene, we want to leave it at the top, but we want to move it to the left. That way, you could have a notification from Google Voice and then one from Facebook, and they could both show at the same time because they'll show on the top left and right. And so we got that. And now we need to, uh, now that we got that all set up, we need to do one more thing because this is going to be an app. So we need to go to 101 app and uh, we need to add a second activity. And we're going to choose Tasker again, Profile Status, use the magnifying glass, Facebook Mess, and Set On. So now, if someone installs this on their uh, tablet when they open the app or they press the app icon. It doesn't actually open anything, but th what it does do is it turns both these profile statuses on. As you can see right now, one is on and one is off. But it doesn't matter if you export them and they're both on or off, when they click that button to open the app, it will turn them both on to make sure they're on and they both work. So we'll turn them both off right now because we don't want Tasker doing anything, we want only the app to do something. So. That's, uh, 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 now that that's done, uh, everything should be good. We can export our app and try it. Remember, if you have to, give an, have to give it an icon first, if you long press, you have the option to set the icon. We already have one. You have the option to rename. Right now, mine is just called class because this is class, tasker class, I guess. And uh, once you've got all that set, you hit export. Then you choose as an app. Remember, you have to have, uh, Facebook App Factory installed. Because you've exported this as an app before, it remembers the package name. You can change the version because now we've updated it. So, and this is just, you don't ever have to do that. It's just up to you. I'll say 1.1. And uh, the launch task is the same. The minimum Android version must be 16 in order for the accessibility to work, which is required for an app that's uh, receiving notifications. So just keep that in mind. And then we go back. It's not technically a back key, it is. It takes you back and then it exports the app. So it's exporting that app right now. If you want to install it on uh, your tablet to check it out, you hit the little Android guy, package installer. It lets you know because this app's already on your tablet, so it's letting you know this is going to replace that app. And that's what we want it to do. We want it to replace the app we created before with this new and improved app. All right, you can click open. By clicking open, we know that's just going to activate the app uh, since that's all that does. Um, but just to give you a, a heads up, if you go into your app drawer, there's the app right there, class. And if you tap it, it doesn't do anything. It just uh, turns those profiles on. So now let's see if it works. All right, so you see we've got the Google Voice message popped up there, has the message there. Um, and now if we get a uh, Facebook Messenger message, we can see now, we can see that these overlap. So we'd want to change that, uh, probably move both of them to the far left and the far right, and that should correct the problem. Uh, we will test that out in the uh, next lesson because we want it to be perfect. And we're also going to add some additional uh, functionality to both of these uh, to make them even cooler. Uh, and we can dismiss that. You can see with the Facebook message, it'll show, it only shows what's in the notification. And if you look at notifications, uh, uh, you'll see it shows, 
No, actually it shows more in the notification, but here it only shows so much and then it's dot dot dot. And the rest, if you want it, you can click open to open the app and read it or you can just dismiss it. Google Voice, if you want it to open, you can tap that. It'll open up Google Voice so that you can see the whole message and reply. Um, so there you go. That's going to be it for uh, lesson 32C. So come back for the next one and we're going to get uh, even more and more uh, advanced and do some more cool fun things with this to make it more and more like a real app. Uh, don't forget to check out my channel, watch some uh, other Tasker tutorials if you haven't already watched them all. Uh, also check out some really cool Android app reviews. Um, I've got found some really cool apps in the last three or four months that I've done reviews for, so you might want to check those out. And I also got some product reviews if you want to find some cool electronics or household products. Uh, maybe some good gift ideas, you can check those out as well. And uh, that is about it. Until next time, so have fun with Tasker. Mm -hmm.